And Mark and Michelle, uh, seismologists here at Caltech, are saying that that early warning system performed well today. It gave them a warning. Of course, that warning not available to the public yet. More on today's earthquake. I want to bring in for a live interview Dr. Lucy Jones. Uh, talk a little bit today uh, about this early warning system, how it performed and how it worked. Well, it was a great chance to have a test with a somewhat larger earthquake. You know, we've been developing the system, we're looking at it with the small events. It was nice to see that it did just as well with the larger event, uh, got the sort of warnings, got things turned around quite quickly. Scientists here at Caltech were telling me earlier that they don't have any sensors on the ocean floor, but right. there are some on the Channel Islands. Talk about how that early warning system worked and, and how there was a warning. Well, that's right. So you want to have the, uh, you know, the st many stations near your earthquake, then you can get it determined quite quickly and, and send that ahead of the waves. We are having, we don't have ocean bottom, and in fact, some of the island stations uh, haven't been properly maintained. You know, there's only, there's not a lot of money coming into this and, and got diverted into early warning, so we didn't get as, uh, uh, some of those offshore stations weren't working, or the island stations, but we had enough. The, the, you know, we were able to determine the earthquake is underway. You send it out ahead of time, and of course, out here in Pasadena, that's quite a, a ways away from the earthquake, so we had plenty of warning. Live here with Dr. Lucy Jones. Just one more question for you before we, we let you go. Everyone's asking, so when will the public be able to get these alerts? Talk about the funding and technology and how we are still behind other countries. Well, okay, that is a, a decision that needs to be made by the U.S. Geological Survey, my former employee, so I'm not an employer, so I'm no longer part of that discussion. I know that they're trying to roll it out first for Southern California because we have enough stations, unlike the other parts of the country, and the, the hope is to get it where the public can be getting a version of it by, you know, by the end of the year. A big issue is you want to get it on your phone. The phone companies have to be able to, to transmit the information quickly, and that's another challenge that needs to be addressed. And that's not under the purview of the of the USGS. That's up to the phone companies. I want to thank Dr. Lucy Jones. Thank you so much for thank talking you. to us live. So that's the story here from Caltech, Mark and Michelle. They are pleased with how those sensors worked on the Channel Islands, giving them a 10 second warning. We're told Santa Barbara had about a five second warning and Orange County about 20 seconds, the farther away you go. But again, the system is still being tested, not available to the public. Uh, they are feeling good, though, about today's 5.3, big enough for them uh, to get that warning. We're